Demo 8.1 Review MRP and Scheduling In this demo, we will review the MRP and work scheduling views in the Material Master. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction. Alternatively, enter transaction MM03 in the command field to access this transaction directly. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the arrow next to the menu label. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Materials Management menu, expand the Material Master menu. In the Material Master menu, expand the Material menu. In the Material menu, expand the Display menu. In the Display menu, select Transaction MM03, Display Current. The system shows the Display Material initial screen. Click the Search icon next to the Material field. Type star 000 in the Material field. This will narrow the search results to materials that end with 000. Click the Enter icon to view the search results. The system returns a list of materials that end with 000. Select the Deluxe Touring Bike Black DXTR1000 and click the Enter icon. Click the Enter icon to continue. The system displays the Select View screen. Select the MRP1, MRP2, MRP3, MRP4 and Work Scheduling Views. Click the Enter button. Click the search icon next to the plant field. The system returns a list of possible entries for this field. Select Plant Dallas DL00 and click the Choose icon. Next, click the search icon in the Store Location field. The system returns a list of possible storage locations for the selected material. Select DL00, Finished Goods FG00, and click the Choose icon. Click the Enter icon to view the material master. The system displays the data for the selected materials. The first selected view, MRP1, is displayed. Note the symbol on the tab for the views that were selected to display. The MRP1 tab displays both general MRP data and data related to MRP procedures in lot size. Click the search icon next to the MRP type field. The system returns a list of MRP types. Click the close icon. Next, click the search icon next to the MRP controller field. The system displays the available MRP controllers for the Dallas plant. Click the close icon to return to the MRP1 tab. Click the search icon next to the lot size field to view the possible entries. The system displays the lot size options. Click the close icon to return to the MRP1 tab. Click the MRP2 tab or click Enter to display the next selected tab. The MRP2 tab shows data related to procurement, scheduling, and net requirements calculation. Click the search icon next to the procurement type field. The procurement type defines how the material is procured. 
click the close button to return to the MRP2 tab. Click the MRP3 tab or click the enter icon to display the next selected tab. The system displays the MRP3 tab. This view includes data relevant to forecasting, planning, and availability check. Click the search icon next to the strategy group field. The system displays the available planning strategies that can be used for a particular material. Click the close icon to return to the MRP3 tab. Click the search icon next to the consumption mode field. The system displays the available consumption modes. This material does not have a consumption mode selected. Click the close icon to return to the MRP3 tab. Click the search icon next to the availability check field. The system displays the available options for checking the availability of materials. Click the close icon to return to the MRP3 tab. Click the MRP4 tab or click Enter to display the next selected view. The system displays additional MRP related data. Click the search icon next to the BOM selection method field. This material uses the selection by order quantity method. Click the close icon to return to the MRP4 tab. Click the Work Scheduling tab or click Enter to display the next selected view. The Work Scheduling tab displays general data relevant to scheduling as well as tolerances and in-house production time data. Demo 8.1 Review MRP and Scheduling